Good evening, everybody. My name is Ricky Castro of NWS Chicago. It's Thursday, November 16th. Over the next several minutes, I'm going to go over some of our latest thoughts on the upcoming winter season with the start of meteorological winter fast approaching December 1st. Bottom line up front, you probably heard by now about the La Nina conditions in place and our favor to persist through the winter season. And this means cooler than normal sea surface temperatures in the eastern and central tropical Pacific which can impact the storm track, or uh, jet stream in other words, across North America, sometimes significantly so. What this could mean for us, and oftentimes has meant for us, is a more active weather pattern across our region, with good potential for above average winter precipitation in the form of rain and or snow and other frozen precipitation types. It's a bit difficult to tell whether this means ab uh, above normal snowfall because of the dependency on individual storm tracks, which is impossible to say this far out, as well as the air mass being sufficiently cold enough to support snow often enough to create an above normal snowfall season is harder to say at this time. Periods of both very mild weather and deep cold are possible if not likely and have been found many times in these La Ninas. High variability day to day and week to week temperature swings are possible. The big question is do the mild periods or cold periods outweigh each other? So uh, to uh, form the flavor of our winter being uh, warmer than average again, colder, or even near normal. Climate Prediction Center in their latest updated winter outlook continues to have higher confidence in colder than normal conditions off to our north and west and warmer than normal to our south and east, with us being uh, kind of in that battleground zone in the middle where it's a little bit harder to tell. Uh, but with the expectation of an active storm track uh, continuing to favor above normal precipitation, did want to point out this is not a snowfall forecast, however, for uh, some of the reasons I've already described. Here's a look at the typical wintertime La Nina pattern. And uh, the buildup of cold air masses into northwestern and north central United States with the jet carving a path through the central United States, the Ohio Valley, and off to the east. Wetter conditions here, so uh, that good signal for above normal precip, and then warmer conditions to the south. Big question is, are we to the, more often on the warmer side or colder side of that active storm track, which can uh, certainly happen uh, throughout the winter season and will determine whether we end up with a colder near normal or a warmer winter and uh, also a snowy or not so snowy winter. We looked back at the most recent 10 La Nina episodes during winter since 95, 96. It just so happens that there was exactly five colder or much below normal uh, uh, La Nina winters since 96 and five warmer to much warmer than normal winters as well as exactly five uh, above normal to much snowier than normal to five below normal to much uh, less snow than average. So uh, uh, certainly makes it a little bit harder for us meteorologists to tell what we could expect. We also looked at the question of whether above average precipitation in and of itself supports more, more snowfall. Well, it turns out that uh, in Chicago, the top 25% wettest winter seasons did tend to skew towards above normal snowfall, whereas the drier winters did tend to skew towards below normal snowfall. So while it doesn't always mean that uh, above average precip leads to more snow, it, uh, it does increase the odds of having it uh, above average snow. Finally, we looked at November. Does the atmosphere tip its hand at all in the month in this month in La Nina winters? It turns out that the warmest La Nina winters did have a tendency for warmer or much normal warm than normal uh, Novembers. Last year being a great case of that, was, which was over six degrees above normal. The near normal La Nina winters tended to be mixed, so not as much not as strong of a signal there. The coldest La Ninas tended to be colder than normal or even much colder than normal. Well, it just so turns out that this November has been quite cold so far through the middle of the month, being almost 6 degrees below normal in Chicago and 7 degrees below in Rockford through November 14th. The rest of the month appears a little bit more mixed, but we're still likely to end up colder than normal. So, that being said, in conclusion, there are signs pointing to increased potential for above normal precipitation this winter. However, temperatures could end up quite variable between cold and mild conditions. But uh, uh, despite that high variability, possible skew towards near to below normal on average, 
with low to medium confidence in predominant regime. It is possible with how cold it's been this November that our confidence is increasing towards a colder outcome. Precipitation above normal with medium high confidence and then snowfall near to above normal, low to medium confidence because of its volat volatility and all the factors we discussed. So uh, looking at this conclusion slide, it could mean that if we are headed uh, for things skewing towards near to below normal, that the uh, the colder periods do outweigh the mild periods, but it doesn't mean we're not going to have very mild periods. And that could, if we do end up on the colder side, it could very well help us uh, towards a uh, normal to above normal snowfall winter. And with that, thanks again, everybody, for listening. If you have any questions, ask us on Facebook or Twitter. Website is weather.gov slash Chicago. And uh, uh, thanks for joining us and have a very happy Thanksgiving.